What's up guys? Back here in California after a, a nice week in New Jersey and New York for the, the from competing in the Pan Am Jiu Jitsu No Gi tournament. Awesome tournament. I think I had about six matches. And uh, man, it certainly came back with a, a lot of lessons to help me to down the road. But before I talk about that, you know, I want to talk about my week leading up to it. I spent time with uh, SSL Sports Science Lab out here in California, working on my smaller muscles, my balance, my athleticism. Um, in terms of strength and conditioning, it's 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 really outside the norm of your your normal strength and conditioning gyms, and I, I've been really really happy about the results that I've been getting in terms of strengthening my knee, strengthening the smaller muscles around my knee, really improving my overall athleticism, and I've I found a lot of success in in the training that we're doing there and I, I'm just I'm excited about you know continuing to train there and the and the uh, the improvements that it's making not only in my my balance but my overall athleticism and, and explosion and, and things like that um, and then I, after you know training and teaching for the week of uh, leading up to the tournament I taken off to to New Jersey to meet up with uh, Hikaru Almeida a phenomenal dude you know super super friendly guy and um, trained over with him and stayed with him at his house. Ricardo had a great group of guys that w were able to, you know, um, help me with my weight cut, help me with, with the training that I wanted to do prior to the tournament. I was there a couple days earlier to get adjusted to the time. You know, Ricardo had a, an awesome group of guys that, you know, made me feel like I was in my own school with my own, you know, with my own my own buddies. And uh, and that's what jiu-jitsu is. It's a brotherhood, and it's one of the things that I really appreciate about the sport. Professor Ricardo, he's going to show an attack from the front head. Just, you know, front head lock is a very strong position. Uh, usually we could go right uh, to attack in the neck. So, it's from this front head lock here. Actually, I'll do it this way so you guys can see it. From this front head lock, I like working my way to the side and locking. But the key is not the strength of the hands here, it's my shoulder. My shoulder wants to go under my opponent's chest. And I just keep my ear nice and tight. All right, and then we just pull the elbow through. From there, make sure that your hand goes all the way through. So I don't want this shallow here. I want to pull the head, punch, and lock. And from here, try to come to a 90 degree angle. You know, just drop that. If my partner starts to get on top of me, I want to catch and guard. You know, and keep it squeezing. Make sure that our hips can go in. So many times guys come, guys come here and they get real high because they want the leverage of the head. But the key is the shoulder coming low. And my head's nice and tight so you can't pull, not pull that arm out. I'll just pull, lock. So this hand pulls, the other one locks. From there you can just drop the weight. I like shoelaces on the mat. Say enough great things about Ricardo you know, just taking me in and, and, and um, actually the day before we, we traveled to Atlanta City and went to watch the Bellator fights. Uh, Ricardo was, was judging some of the fights and that was an awesome experience. And I've never been to Atlantic City. It was an awesome time. But when I got to the tournament, man, it was, it was crazy. Just all the people seeing there. Some people I haven't seen before in a while. I know some of my friends were competing. Um, wasn't really nervous. I, I you know, I don't, that's not something I deal with anymore. Um, I did have a little bit of a weight issue where I was, you know, taking off 10, 12 pounds. And it's nothing normal. It's nothing uh, out of the ordinary for me. You know, it's with a wrestling background and, and, and you know all that I did there. It's it was it was pretty easy. So I ended up taking third of my division and then. Decided to compete in the absolute, obviously. Feast. Uh, so first we match, ended up, I think we had uh, faced the guy that I actually had in the uh, Atlanta finals. It topped everything um, I've ever you know, won that you know, match. When you cut a lot of weight, points, and after the tournament you're done competing, you, know, you can't really, really eat that much at the tournament and, because and you want to um, you know, keep yourself hungry, you don't want to be too bloated. My top game. So, the night up, and then know, the night of the tournament is probably the, the most match. Important really time for me because I really just you know for the first couple minutes, and, I, and then 
end up passing his guard and getting the uh, So we, his wife yeah, ended up making this phenomenal pasta choke. dish. So I was, was pretty happy and, uh, about that. And then my third match, of course, which was the finals, again with the same dude that I had in my division. Um, obviously, I wasn't, wasn't happy about the results in the match. We had a good time with uh, eating everything that we uh, originally earlier in the day. Everything that we had. Uh, so for our, yeah. our so went back and uh, uh, meal. just was so preparing for that match over the next mentally, day, but you know, just man, really thinking about things I, I did wrong world. initially, and I, I know I was kind of taking into, into consideration my knee, but I was trying to push that outside my head. I know it was my knee. I have to you know really come at this match with everything I got, but um, man, it was it was an awesome match. We went all eight minutes, um, you know, several advantages. Um, you know, he, he took my back, I, I, I took him down, um, finished the match probably, I think the score was 4-2, to two. he ended up winning, um, but it, 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 kept that, it kept that fire inside me that just, you know, the, the reason I love competing, the reason I love win or lose, the reason I, I love jujitsu is just, it's that constant, man, I just want to keep going with this, want to keep doing everything I can to, to capitalize on the, the, the window that I'm inside of my life, and that's just my youth, my my athleticism, the talents I was given by God, and um, you know, next week in two weeks. Now I have the, the next thing for me is the ADCC trials. <laughs> Chances of me seeing that guy again are are, are very high. So it's uh, it's going to be exciting. Uh, it's it certainly wasn't the last time I faced the guy. Okay, guys, we're gonna take a look here wasn't. when the guy's on the butterfly guard, sitting up to go for a sweep, trying to control I'm really it. Really training. The first thing I'm gonna do, I bring my elbow in and I lock right on his knee. Look. As he's hugging me here to do it, my hand reaches right on his neck. Look. Now I'm gonna pin the leg spin, straight across the side. And if you realize, look, we end up with his arm exposed, ready for mount, you know, ready for chokes and things like that. Completely open his side. One more time. Obviously, I have When the hand goes in, I reach. But one of the main thing here is the hand blocking the knee. That hand by driving his knee down, that's why I keep my elbow in. When I drive it down, I lock his hip and I prevent him from, from fixing himself and, and preventing the guard pass. As I'm here, look, I pin, I push, and I spin by pulling the head. I not even move my legs back. I keep my knees for the whole time. This is one of the most efficient guard passes I have, especially for low D from the butterfly guard. Thank you, Masenzo. Thank you. But my hats off to, certainly to the guy that that you know, Gary Tonin from Hikaru Amidas. Actually, he's not from Hikaru. He's from a, an affiliate of. I think he's part of Henzo's. My hats off to him. He had a phenomenal tournament. Um, he had a lot of submissions in the tournament. He ended up, you know, taking gold in both his division and the absolute. Obviously, you know, getting past me. Um, so hats off to him. I'm sure I'll see him again. So it's uh, it's it's going to be exciting to to keep a uh, keep a lookout for. After the tournament, man, me and Ricardo, we Ricardo wasn't cutting as much as weight as I was. I was certainly cutting the m most of the weight. There was actually Max was cutting some weight too. We both were in the lightweight. He's in the purple belt division. Um, and, so we're gonna use the same pass. Hands are just locked. Okay, really, the butterfly. really excited. The knee, control the head. Okay, push side. We're gonna have a piece. Nice and tight, tight control. Arm isolated. Okay, keep him tight. Scoop in. Make sure you want his chest, not not his stomach. Pin the arm. Raise your chest. Step right over the shoulder. Okay. I could spin for the triangle, but so I don't want to lose the, the top position. So I'm gonna bring my hip out to my left. Okay. Elbow. Put the arm, nice and tight, arm control. The arm pops out. The next day, I traveled down to uh, the city in New York to visit Henzo and his academy and the, and the guys that they have over there. Uh, awesome facility, man. Bunch of no-gi guys. The no-gi training there was phenomenal. I, I a lot of guys there. Uh, you know, Frankie Edgar was there. Ricardo was there. Um, you know, just a, a bunch of tough guys. Boo Yu was there. Man, everybody. Uh, Edwin from Homo Bahal School. We were just all there enjoying the. the 
some time after the tournament to just train some yogi stuff. Life is about exciting. Um, however many you know, gold medals got the you chance to roll with you, uh, you Enzo or in or in a year. That was awesome. It was the first time I ever did to anything. Me, like that about with him getting and, knocked down uh, and not, he, not just he's, that. Uh, he's, he's an animal on the mat. He's rising when super, you're knocked down. Because super fast. He, he doesn't give you an inch. And he's down. always looking for the submission, and it was great um, because he's a lot like my professor in the sense that uh, what he he was showing me and teaching me after the match and uh, after our after our training session, and it was it was awesome to have that. Uh, you know, brought me back to the days I was at you know in Clearwater with uh, Eduardo de Lima. So, we're going to do the same thing that Hans was just doing, okay, the same pass, when you guys are reaching, you start hugging me, keep it pretty tight, pin the leg, control, I'm going to step one, go to my knees, okay, because I'm going to have the arm isolated, okay, this makes perfect for what, with the arm bar triangle, the guy, the one he lands like this, is going to defend himself, okay, so look, keeping the knee nice and tight, I'm just going to pin the arm, okay, raise my chest, and look, step right over his shoulder, here, I get a spin for the triangle that way, which makes it even uh, more simple and not lose the top position. I'm going to go back for the armor. Shoot my hip out this way. Training camp going on at the Gracie Baja headquarters, so I'm going to be filming a lot of that going on. and um, I'm going to spend time at the tournament to get you guys an inside scoop on what's going on at the tournament, so be on the lookout for that video. It's coming up next. Um, and then um, prepare for the ADCC trials, and that's going to be following. So. I'm super excited to, to share with you guys what's going on, and uh, I, I look forward to, to continue to do more of this, and I appreciate you guys' support. Thanks. With Frankie Edgar, he's going to show a technique for us. We're at the Henzo Gracie Academy in New York. Guys, we're going to do a uh, head inside, uh, head outside single, high crotch. Over here, it's a nice simple setup. We're going to start the wrist, wrist, come to the elbow. I'm going to pull from my opponent. As I'm pulling him, I'm coming in, same time. Pull, head outside, drive, drive across. To the finish. He's in. One more time here. I like to start low so I'm not reaching at the head and I give up position, all right? Starting low, ensure that I'm defending my legs with my hands. I come out. As I'm pulling, I'm going to do a little side step or a back step, whichever, whichever you prefer. Up here, side step. Boom, I got, a, I got a great angle here. Push this elbow by. Come in here. As I'm coming, guys, I'm giving good head pressure, trying to get all the weight on this foot, and I'm driving across, driving across. Boom. Right to the fence. Thanks, man. Thanks, guys. I think that's the difference between high caliber people and, and, and people of mediocre ability. It's the only difference is that when they get knocked down, they, they don't get back up. And, and that's one of the things that this weekend has taught me is, okay, I'm knocked down right now. I, it's not the end of the tournament for me this year. It's certainly not the end of the tournament for my career. Um, but Gary Tornan was better than me um, that day. And, um, it, it doesn't mean it's the end for me. You know, I'm certainly going to bounce back, certainly going to rise above the, the – uh, kick and uh, get back up and keep going and that's one of the things that 
has really just been um, what I'm about. And, and um, you know, next up for me is the ADCC trials. I'm really looking forward to this, and um, I'm really excited to to uh, continue to be competing this year. I, I know I have a, a you know still a big lineup left of tournaments left in the year. Um, um, but Pan Am's 2012, I'll always remember it, and I'll always and always look back on it and say, man, that. That was a great tournament for me. It taught me a taught me a good lesson. I had an awesome time there. I had an awesome time with the crew. I had an awesome time with Ricardo Almeida uh, and his family. I had an awesome time at Henzo's Academy um, and training with his guys, rolling with Henzo Gracie. It was a, it was an awesome time for me. Um, you know, he, he taught me a lot. He brought me back to made me feel like I was actually back in Eduardo school where uh, I'd be rolling with him, and then he'd come back and pull me alongside and and teach me you know certain positions. He even he even critiqued some of the positions that I was, um, you know, I was in, and that he thought I could improve on upon the tournament after, you know, seeing some of a couple of my matches. And it was, uh, you know, certainly blessed to have, you know, a man of his caliber and, a, and the team that we have within Gracie Baja to, to be able to continue to help me improve and and, um, and make the adjustments necessary there so that I can continue to be consistent in in my performance. My friend, Brazilian, uh, American, Paraíba, oh, moves like a cat. I couldn't believe it. He was in the worst situation ever. He would get out and slam the guy down. Fought like a porra, like a bear. I can right now. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. Hello, friend.